In the near future, where the world is on the brink of destruction, humanity's last hope lies in an elite team of astronauts on a mission to save Earth. But as they embark on a treacherous journey to a distant planet, they discover a shocking secret that could change everything. With time running out and the fate of humanity hanging in the balance, the crew of 65 must confront their deepest fears and make unimaginable sacrifices to ensure the survival of our species. The movie opens on planet Somaris, where we meet Mills and his wife Alia as they are sitting on the beach watching their daughter Naveen. He tells his wife that he has to go on a two-year expedition to gather enough money to afford treatment for his ill daughter. Sometime later, we see a spaceship soaring in space, with multiple passengers on board and in hibernation. Suddenly, the spaceship encounters a meteor shower. Mills is woken up, and since he is the pilot, he immediately buckles up and attempts to steer the ship away from the meteors. The ship ends up being hit multiple times, and Mills sends out an emergency message before attempting to land on the nearest planet. However, the ship ends up breaking in half moments before landing on an unknown planet. Moments after the crash, Mills wakes up and puts on his astronaut suit and starts inspecting the damage to the ship. He grabs a gun and walks outside. He finds himself in a swamp while a mysterious creature roams behind him as he sees all of the other passengers dead in the swamp. Hopeless, he goes back inside the ship and sends another SOS message, and after further inspection of the environment, he discovers that the air is breathable. Mills investigates the broken ship, and to his surprise, he finds one of the passengers, Koa, still alive and inside her pod. He quickly takes her out of her pod and takes her to safety, but on his way to the ship, he spots a gigantic, clawed footprint in the mud revealing he is on Earth 65 million years ago, and he is surrounded by dinosaurs. Both of them safely make it back to the ship, and Mills is determined to find his way back, only to save the young girl. The next morning, Mills explores the outside world in the hopes of finding the other half of his ship. He sees something shiny on a far mountain, and after scanning it, it's revealed that it's the other part of his ship. Suddenly, he is attacked by small dinosaurs, but Mills manages to smash that like and subscribe button just like you should do! <laughs> oh, but no. Mills manages to kill it before it kills him. After hearing more noises in the woods, he goes to investigate, only to see that Koa has left the ship. He grabs Koa to save her from the creatures and takes her back to the ship. Inside the ship, Mills tries to explain to Koa what has happened, but Koa doesn't speak English. Mills knows that the pods they need are stuck on a mountain, so he lies to Koa and lets her know that her family is on the mountain. As Mills sends yet another SOS message, Koa finds the videos of Naveen and watches them. As she goes through them, it's revealed that during the first year, Naveen had to be sent to a hospital. Mills gathers all the needed supplies for their journey, and soon after, they start heading towards the mountain. On their way there, Koa sees a small creature stuck in the mud. Koa runs to help it out. Although Mills was reluctant to help it, he did it anyway. As the creature is freed, he immediately walks away, but is quickly attacked by predators. Mills and Koa move on, and when Mills tries to see the location, the scanner is unable to fully locate it. He decides to climb a tree for a better scan, but a bug lands on his hand, and as he tries to shake it off, the branch breaks, causing Mills to fall on the ground. The fall causes Mills to dislocate his arm. As Koa helps him put the arm in place, a group of dinosaurs hear the noise and start approaching them. Koa ends up stepping on his arm, and as his arm is immediately in the right position, he grabs the gun and starts shooting at the creatures. As Koa is hiding, a bunch of flying dinos land near her, so she tries hiding behind a tree. However, they end up seeing her and go after her. At that moment, Mills shows up and kills them all. Suddenly, one hiding dino comes up behind Koa and starts dragging her away. Mills manages to scare the creature. Mills and Koa slowly begin bonding, and he even shows her how to whistle like how he tried to teach Naveen. After Koa calms down, the duo continue walking, and as it starts raining, they find a cave where they have to spend the night. Mills sets up sensors that will warn them about any threats. They try to sleep, but as soon as Mills lays down, he starts remembering the day when Alia contacted him 
to tell him that Naveen had died in the hospital, which makes him devastated. Later that evening, Mills is woken up by the sensors alerting him of an upcoming danger. He immediately checks on Koa and finds a bug has gotten inside her mouth. He immediately kills it, causing Koa to cough out the remains. Soon after, the sensors are still going wild, and a huge predatory dinosaur appears and attempts to attack them. Mills shoots it a couple of times before he and Koa end up crawling through a small hole in the cave. Mills immediately tries to find a way out, unaware that a smaller dinosaur is following them. After walking through the tight spaces of the cave, Mills is devastated when he realizes they've come to a dead end. He notices a small hole, but it's not big enough for either of them to crawl through. He then gets the idea to throw a few bombs inside it to make it big enough so Koa could fit through it. The plan works, and Koa goes through the hole, and soon enough, she confirms there is enough space for Mills to crawl through it as well. However, as soon as Mills tries to climb, the hole collapses. Suddenly, he hears the smaller dinosaurs coming after him. Using his scanner, he can see where the dino is coming from, and starts shooting at it. However, the dino pushes Mills, forcing him to drop his gun, and then he bites him on his arm. Mills can reach his scanner, and plays a screeching sound that hurts the dinosaurs. This allows Mills to grab his gun and kill it. In the meantime, Koa has made it out, and moments later, Mills managed to get out of the cave as well. He notices a huge meteorite is coming closer. Using his scanner, he learns that the one that hit his ship was just a part of a bigger one that will hit in a few hours, causing an extinction event. He immediately goes to find Koa, yelling at her. He finally sees her when she is startled by a dino. Determined to find her, Mills ends up falling into quicksand with no way out. He continues calling for Koa, and Koa ends up making her way to Mills and drags him out before it's too late. The two continue and finally reach the top of the mountain. As they find the other half of the ship, Koa quickly starts searching for her family. When she finds them both dead, she gets angry at Mills for lying. Mills tells her he lost Naveen, and won't allow that to happen to Cora. Both of them get inside the emergency pod, and as Mills is about to push the launch button, a piece of meteorite hits the ship and causes the pod to fall. At this moment, a dinosaur starts attacking the pod and pushing the gun to the ground. Mills goes after it, only to learn that it's broken. He hides beneath a piece of a ship trying to fix it, but two dinosaurs surround him. Koa thinks quickly and starts playing a tape of Naveen to the dinosaurs to distract them. Due to this, Mills can kill the two creatures. Before killing the second dino, the dinosaurs end up pushing the pod in the right position to launch. Right about to get back inside the pod, the cave dinosaurs are back for Mills. He lures the dino to the hot geysers, but when that doesn't work, Koa suddenly shows up and stabs it, which successfully kills the dino. Afterward, both of them can reach the pod and take off before the meteorite hits. As the pod leaves, the autopilot guides it to the meeting point where a rescue vessel waits for them. Subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on the notifications so you never miss any of them.